Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey, if you enjoy the video, consider clicking like, subscribe, bell notification, and the join button. Uh, becoming a channel member is only $4.99 a month. It really, really helps me out, and you get a bunch of perks like these badges for how long you've been a member for. Uh, you get these emojis for my live stream chats, and you get access to my videos when I upload them instead of when I release them. So thanks so much, and enjoy the video. Yo, guys, today is the final episode of the Gen... Uh, wow. <laughs> is the Gen 7 episode, which is the final episode of my entire Pokemon collection. Um, like, kind of memory thing, where I just go over all of the Pokemon I've RNG'd. And um, what they mean to me, what that, what I've done with them in battles, etc. Um, and uh, I've done this by generation, so if you want to check the other videos, uh, link in the description, and I'll hopefully pop up a card uh, as well. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is I'm gonna miss all my homies. Um, I don't plan on transferring them since national decks aren't transferable. I don't like breaking them all up like this. It's just not. I, I'm probably never gonna transfer Pokemon out of a game again. Is basically what's happening here. Um, and so I want to kind of go over all of my friends' uh, memories here. <sighs> okay, so let's begin. First up is this Torkoal. I actually just used this in a, my most recent, not just, but my most recent Random Battles episode. Its name is Buzzy, because that is, my brother's had a turtle since he was 10, and its name is Buzzy. Buzzy's actually in his 30s right now. He's a painted turtle. Um, oh, he was... Obtain at minimum he's in his 30s because he was obtained in like 83 by my mom's cousin who's like way 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 younger than my mom but this is like a whole side story but basically my mom's cousin is probably like 15 years younger than my mom and so she was a kid in the 80s before I was born and she got a turtle and she named it Buzzy because on the newspaper she had there's like a newspaper and it said like this is the buzz of like today or whatever that was like the, the headline and she named the turtle buzzy and then when we were kids my brother wanted a turtle and my mom's cousin was like late teenagers and uh in the 90s at that point i think she was in high school and she was like i don't want my turtle you can have him because we asked her where'd you get your turtle and uh so we we took buzzy and uh, now he lives in my brother's house he has like a nice window um, right outside of, uh, like, like, he has a whole, my brother and his girlfriend bought a house and they, they don't have any, no one else lives in the house with them, and so the turtle gets a whole room to itself and they put him by the window so he can see outside, it's fun. Anyway, that's the whole story about Buzzy. They won't all take this long, I promise. Um, uh, he is to be used in a ch sun team or a trick team, so the idea with this set, right, is that either I have a trick room setter, he's quiet nature so he's really slow, so he can utilize uh, either on my own for trick room or against trick rooms. Um, and he can do a lot of damage. Eruption for when it's at full health, heat wave for when it's not, solar beam to slap the water types and the rock types. Um, flame plate just to boost the fire damage. I don't like the life orb recoil, plus I want, life orb is more versatile. Um, protect just because it's for doubles. Uh, most, it's for it's a double set, yeah. Um, and uh, also it's meant to be utilized with a, another Pokemon who, this Lilligant here, it's meant to be used with. Um, uh, the Lilligant uses after you. Lilligant is going to be faster than everything uh, because of chlorophyll and its high base speed to begin with. So you click after you. Um, after you uh, makes Torkoal go first. So you'd use after you on the Torkoal because this is going first. So after you's Torkoal and Torkoal can be faster than everything in the sun. So it's just interesting. Sort of a roundabout way, actually, to give Chlor uh, this Pokemon two abilities, almost. It's funny. Anyway, up next is Golduck. Uh, I actually got it in a dive ball. This is, I very rarely matched up, but I did. I actually didn't even nickname it. I think this is from my Sun version. Most of these were bred in Sun, not Ultra Sun. Um, this was just for Rain Team. I was hype about Pelipper, hype about uh, VGC, hype about Doubles. Never really got into it, but this was just the Swift Swimmer. Nothing too special. These are two Ninetales I bred. Um, these were more a uh, single-oriented set. Um, I thought that I don't know what I don't think there's much of a difference between these two. I think I just ended up with two. That's why the second one isn't nicknamed. I, I thought less about it, but um, yeah, this was meant just for Aurora Vale singles teams. Um, Yuki is the word for snow in Japanese. Um, Encore I thought was like the wave, the tech with this Pokemon. I don't think it's very good now. I'd probably change it to something else, but maybe Hypnosis or something. But that's pretty much it. I was just very excited for this in Aurora Vale. And there's just two of them. That's it. 
Oh, these guys are my some Gen 6 mons. Um, I don't know what they're doing here. I think it's because they're only really utilizable in Battle Spot uh, for Smogon. But, um, Batosai is from Roroni Kenshin. That's the name. That's where the name is from. Um, and I don't really have much else to say about it besides that. But, yeah, Batosai... Oh, actually, I would like to do... So, yeah, Batosai is from, um... Uh, Roroni Kenshin, that's why its name is. I love that anime, even if the... <laughs> Don't look up what happened to the author, I'll tell you that much. And they're just a standard special attacking Aegislash sets. Um, wide Guard, uh, Shadow Ball, um, Fairy Coverage with Flash Cannon and King Shield, because it's a broken move. Um, the only difference is one of them is one speed slower to maybe speed creep other Aegislash outside of Trick Room. That was pretty much my plan. That's it. This is a Magnazone. Um, I don't. I think I bred it to do a Drag Mag team uh, because I was extremely hype about. I want to say I was hype about. Uh, um, I think I was hype about. Salamence, and I wanted to have something to pull away Pokemon because. Uh, Z Ments can't run. Can Z is, is there a problem with Z Ments? Is this run DD? DD three attack, right? Am I crazy? I don't know, but it's still for Steel types, basically for Z Ments. That's why it's there. Um, this is Celestila. It was actually traded to me by I want to say Mister Man. I want to say Mister Mexican traded this to me, but I'm not sure. I if it wasn't Mister Mexican, uh, mod in my Discord who is a very cool guy. Um, it, I love this set, by the way. This, so this set is very cool. Autonomize um, is my favorite way to use it. It's named Celeste. Um, my girlfriend's... Um, named after my girlfriend's uh, cousin. Uh, and uh, this is just my favorite set to utilize. Um, I just think it's a very fun sweeping set. It's just I like to take defensive mons like this. And just like make them powerful and offensive, and so it's uh, similar to like a CB Ferrothorn, and I think it's like an actually legitimate set, kind of. So I just think it's cool in that regard. Ah, uh, this is the event Tabu Coco. I RNG'd this one. Um, I don't have much else to say about it. Um, Tip of nature. I think I gave it HP ice, and then I hyper trained the one stat, and uh, it's just a good Pokemon in general. Um, this is Taunt Coco. Maybe this is VGC. I don't know what this is for. I don't know what my plan with this is, but that's that. This is my Coco from my um, Sun version, uh, I believe. And um, I don't think I RNG. Maybe I did RNG this one, but I RNG'd for HPIs over stats, knowing I can hyper train it. Um, the name is I'm in love from that like song. The I'm in love with the Coco. That's it. That's <laughs> that's the that's why it's named that. Um, just a different set. I think this was meant for VGC. That's why it's got protect on it. Um, I don't have much else to say about it besides that. Um, I like the nickname though. I think I have a clever nickname. This is the um, uh, Lilligant that is to be paired with my Torkoal. Its name is Jeff, spelled differently. I already explained the naming convention of Jeff, um, but it's basically meant to after you the Torkoal or a slower Pokemon on my team. Uh, which will then um, be able to go first because Lilligant will be faster because of the sun. Um, protect is for VGC, typical. Um, sleep Powder is for Sleep Powder uh, to put Pokemon to sleep, and Leaf Storm is just for damage, so I don't, I'm not completely wasting time. Um, this is a Latios. Are you perfect? No, you're hyper chained. Um, I don't know. I don't remember getting this at all. But it's for Mega Latios. It's meant to be um, utilized with the Earthquake Lure set for Heatran. I think those lore types of sets are very cool. So that's why this is here. I definitely EV trained. I remember getting this to 100. But the and the attacks were actually optimized for killing Chansey. That's why it's got Steel Link, so I could easily kill Chansey, uh, pretty much. Uh, this is Megirna. I think this Pokemon is broken, and 
it fits on my favorite archetype, Trick Room, so it's just the Trick Room sweeping Megirna. I think the uh, full coverage is very good, although you could utilize many different types of Trick Room sweeping sets. This is from early metagame, right? Uh, that's why it's got the three perfect coverage, but... And I don't think this is bad, per se, but I do think, like, a Trick Room and then into Twinkle Tackle or something might be superior, but this is still a very good set. Very broken Pokemon. I can't nickname it. What do you want me? Wait! Am I dumb? Did, no. I think I have another Megirna. Does Megirna get your OT? Did I hack? Is it hacked Megirna? Am I stupid? Hold on, I'm gonna see. Do I have Megirna anywhere else? Sorry, this is like a side thing, but... I thought I had like a more Megirnas, and they're just like garbage. Where's the two train box? Maybe I'm crazy. I guess you can nickname Megirna. Hello? Whatever. That's cool. Ah, uh, this is a Mega Camera Up. Mega Camera Up is a really, really cool Pokemon. Oh, this is from Kalos, actually, as well. Um, I think this Mon is sick. So, it's meant... This one, in particular, is meant for doubles. I didn't nickname it because I forgot before, before, but that's that. Um, Heat Wave, Earth Power, uh, I think HP Ice, I want to say. A billion damage. This Pokemon does so much damage. It's impossible to switch into this Pokemon. And in VGC, in Trick Room, where that archetype is very good... Um, that's all that's all she wrote um i, I love mega camera it's very very powerful it's a shame it won't be in sword and shield but a very powerful pokemon sheer force is such a good ability solid rock could let you take a hit if you really needed to beforehand but don't ever stay in this form that's that tepu lele i have two tepu leles let me check which one is which all right yes so i have two tepu leles um one for my moon and one for my sun i think the Moon Tapu Lele is the slow one, meant to be able to function in Trick Room in doubles. That's why its speed is only decent. They're both Hidden Power Fire, even though I've taken that off of this one. Does this one have it? This one still has it. And then this one was Hyper Trained, so it could actually be fast. This one is actually RNG'd in my Sun. It's the first RNG I've ever done. This is the first RNG I ever did in Sun and Moon, to get this Hidden Power Fire uh, Lele. So, very cool, modest... Uh, I would probably mostly utilize this on a spec set and just nuke people. Um, very fun Pokemon to use. Very, very strong. This one is a similar thing, basically. Just T-Ball for coverage and maybe to do damage uh, in under Tapu Koko's terrain. Psyche MZ, very, very powerful um, under the terrain. And uh, again, it's slower to be able to function in Trick Room. But it's modest, so it can still function in Tailwind if it has to. So I have two of these. Um, they're two completely different sets, I think. Oh, no, no, one's just for singles, one... Oh, no, 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 it's... Hmm. I, maybe one is a leftover one. The name Christina is from... Uh... What is it called? Hmm, hold on. Okay, so it's uh, from Steins Gate. Uh, Christina. That's the meme, that's why it's in all caps. Um, I had no real reason for naming it. I think it's just because it, it just popped out female, and that's that was that. This is before I knew how to egg RNG, by the way. So this one was bred completely, like, without any RNG. Um, these are both bred that way. Uh, one is Frisk. It's just the other ability to know your item. Uh, Harvest is just the obviously better ability, if you ask me. This one is for VGC, Trick Room, Leaf Storm, Jaker Meteor, Protect. Um, this one is for... Um, oh, this one is just like a specs one for singles. And it can, uh, oh no, it's not specs, it's just Trick Room, it's Trick Room. Um, and, uh, this one just has a bit of coverage, if I would say so, with Flamethrower instead of Protect. Um, it's an okay set, I think. Um, and Frisk, Frisk is actually a fine ability if you're not going to be using a berry, so... I have several type of finnies. One is from... Let me see if I can figure out what's up with these. I want to say this one is my Ultra Moon. I'm not positive, though. Not positive. Um, three type of finnies. Type of finnies is one of my favorite taboos to use. I love this Pokemon. I think it's extremely powerful. Um, so, it has... This is the um, timid, like, stopper set, so what this one does is um, it's meant to, like, taunt 
like Chansey, like Stallbreaker. That's what the set is, Stallbreaker. So it kind of like taunts Chansey, it um, taunts Ferrothorn, or uh, stops Spikes from happening. That's why it's timid. It's a very fast set. Um, Nature's Madness, Walls, and then Defog's Hazards Away. That's what its function is. I think it's a very effective set. Um, that's it. This one is named Dodo Thindu because that's uh, that's the um, that's how you would say it in Katakana, as far as I'm aware. Maybe I'm dumb, but um, this one is the CM VGC set with Calm Mind and Muddy Water. Very very powerful Pokemon in VGC. Um, Tebu Fini is insane, and I think one of the better parts about it is it doesn't necessarily need its terrain to function, whereas the other Tebu's damage output kind of relies on their terrain. Not so much. Their stats are still good, but like Tebu Coco, for example, really needs its terrain for damage. Otherwise, it falls off quite a bit. But Tapu Fini is actually just very powerful with Calm Mind and Muddy Water. A very excellent spread move instead. Uh, Finley is the um, bold CM set uh, also for VGC. Um, this one actually... No, 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 no. No, no it, if it... I think they're both for VGC, I guess. Um, just two different sets. One is more of a sweeper. One is more of a defensive Pokemon. Uh, I rng both of these ones... These, this RNG, actually, one might be hyper Oh, no, I hyper a little bit of them. Oh, uh, so, Finley was the first one I got for VGC. This, this one I RNG'd much more recently. RNGing this Pokemon, and then I think I, I would actually be willing to bet also this one. Yeah, so RNGing these Pokemon is the worst. Um, there's three or four NPCs in that chamber, even though they don't actually exist. They're just invisible. It's very, very difficult, but very worth it. Finley, don't really know the name. It had something to do with the Feeny name. I just thought it was a cute name. Uh, N's grandchild is named after... Um, basically, I it is descended from N's Zorua. So I, in black and white, I bred N's Zorua down. Uh, and then I, uh, I created a child from it. Then I traded that child up to Gen 7. And then I bred from that child to get this one. That's why it's N's grandchild. This was meant for my first random battle spot uh, video, so you can watch me get this randomly it breeded and then use it in battles. Um, I just did what I thought was the optimal set. Uh, Sucker Punch for priority, Dark Pulse for a Z-move, and two coverage moves, basically. The plan was basically to start off with this Pokemon, nuke something immediately, uh, trick them into thinking it's not Zoroark, and nuke something with Dark EMZ, and then uh, die and Sucker Punch away as much as I can. This is Candy, nicknamed Candy because it's pink, and that's like a fun, cheery name. This is just a CM set. Um, I RNG'd to be shiny, and then probably hyper-trained it. Yeah. So I probably RNG'd this on stream, honestly, uh, just to be shiny with the timid nature. And it's just the standard uh, set. I've not used this Pokemon yet, but that's that. This is uh, Tornadus. Um, that No way you're not hyper-trained yet. So I probably also RNG'd this on stream. That's what the, the nickname is a random probably name um, from someone. And this is just the mega standard uh, Defog U-Turn Hurricane uh, set um, for Torn T. Really, really powerful Pokemon in singles. I would actually probably even change the moveset a little bit. Keep Hurricane and Defog, obviously, but and even Knock. But uh, you actually, I might run U-Turn, I might not. You probably uh, Focus Blast nowadays. Um, uh, you don't even really need it, you just double instead. Um, but very, very powerful Pokemon. Didn't nickname it though, so that's that. So this is a Zerka Tree. What's your shit? situation? You, okay, so. One of these is definitely, uh, actually no, I bet neither of these are. I actually think neither of these are RNG, and I just soft reset for a timid nature and then intended to hyper train them. Um, I think I have a timid, mm, they're both timid. Um, I don't think this Pokemon's very good. I don't know why. It's named Destruction. Is that it's what it's UB? Um, yeah, I don't know what it's, oh, what's up with its name. This is the Z Hypnosis set for a speed boost. This one I intend to be a Z Electric Terrain set. Actually, my mini theory crap, the Z Electric Terrain might be slightly superior to Z Hypnosis, but I don't know, this Pokemon's not that great. This is a Blacephalon IRNG to have good stats and be modest. I did hyper train Spideff, but uh, yeah. Uh, just a really good Pokemon. Um, Fire Blast, Trick, uh, meant to be Specs with Mind Blown. This does so much damage. Um, and I didn't nickname it because I just don't have one yet. Um, I've never used it in battle, but uh, it's just a fun mon to use if you want to. This is Suicune of RNG named Suicune because that's how I used to pronounce it. Um, 
But uh, my, my, one of my channel members, Preston Holohan, got really on me because I, th I think it's his favorite Pokemon. So uh, he got on me for that shit, uh, for pronouncing it wrong. And I, I also love Suicune. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, top five legendaries for sure. Um, this is the demonic, uh, demonic set. Uh, oh, man, I can't remember the, the, the set name. But basically, it's like max HP, timid with like either max speed or like 216 speed. Um, oh, cracked my back. And basically, it's just mono attacking, sub protect to PP stall like Chansey, so it has to struggle basically. Like this Pokemon doesn't beat special walls by sub CMing, but it uh, beats them by uh, just stalling them out with pressure. A demonic set, demonic Suicune. Oh, this is Sea Breeze, um, the Pelipper. Uh, also got it in the correct ball. Protect Tailwind, VGC stuff. Hydro Pump, Hurricane, Br Damage. Um, it was probably a Z-Move user, uh, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a Life Orb or something else. Um, who knows what it, what's going on in VGC. Oh, and maybe it been a Wakanberry as well, potentially, but I don't even know if that would live Tapu Koko D-Bolt with Wakanberry. Um, Seabreeze is named after my favorite Nuzlocke of all time. Griffin McElroy did a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Y. You all know the rest if you've seen it. I love that Nuzlocke. It's so fun. I don't even watch Let's Plays or like Pokemon YouTube a lot of the time, but... It's so funny, and I also love a lot of the Macroys other stuff. I love um, Adventure Zone. is one of my favorite podcasts of all time, so. This is Heatran. I definitely RNG'd this on stream because I remember someone telling me to nickname it Gen 4 God, which is a pretty apt name. This is the Stall Breaking uh, Heatran set. Taunt, Magma Storm, Stealth Rock. Earth Power, this shit is actually demonic. Actually kills Ch This thing actually kills Chansey. Uh, it doesn't kill it, but like... It messes it up, because the chance you could probably S-toss you down before you kill it, but really, really good, just standard Stealth Rock set. I wonder what my EVs on it are. No, oh, it's just a max special tagging set, so yeah, really good Pokemon. Re really, really good. Gen 4 God, good name, though. That's what I'll say about that. Oh, and for the record, uh, these Pokemon, Alolan Exeggutor, by far my favorite Alolan Pokemon, and maybe even my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. I love using it, too. It's actually a fun Pokemon to use. I have more. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. So these are a bunch of Pokemon who I didn't RNG, but I... Uh, actually, no, no. So the Game Boy ones, I didn't RNG, obviously. This one I got on my own, and then I made like a sub-toxic stalling snow cloak set with Articuno for some reason. Um, awful Pokemon, an awful set, but named after Snowstorm for my first um, Parakeet that I loved to death. Uh, Snowstorm was such a good boy. Um... I've never used it in battle, and I've only just finished even training and all that this uh, recently. But also, um, um, I didn't even make it shiny. I ate effed it shiny, so it's not even like I shiny hunted or something like that. This is Butters. This was nicknamed on stream. I RNG'd this on stream definitely, and it's I've not even hyper trained it yet. But I have done its move set, so there's that one. This is John Wick, also RNG'd on stream. Um, also not hyper trained yet, because I don't want to. I have. I'm saving my bottle caps for something else, so. Um, just a s typical Moltres set. Meant to be probably Specs or Scarf Moltres. No, not even, because it's got Roost. I don't know what my plan is with this, but it's there. This is Sunny. Uh, this one I ate effed. Um, after, it's named after my uh, second parakeet named uh, Sunny. Um, Apparently it's an Agility Moltres. What a big meme. Agility Moltres. Who would have thunk it? But I 8F this one and I traded up. You, you do the experience trick, like level 99, with a specific amount of EXP to get it timid. This is Green Goblin. This is actually a full odd shiny. Um, <laughs> I was... Um, uh, I, I wanted a Moxie um, bag on, and like six SOSs in, out popped a shiny bag on. I named it Green Goblin because of the color. I caught it in the that green Pokeball for as much matching as I could. Um, it is... <laughs> it is, I think, kind of meant to be like a Mega... It, it, yeah, it's kind of meant to be a um, VGC Mega Ments, but not really. It doesn't really have anything good going for it. It's timid. I'll probably end up using it as like a... Because the thing is, it's timid... But you can't use... I can't get Hydro Pump on it because that's an egg move. So it's got Fire Blast and Double Edge. I don't know if I... Can I get Hyper Voice on it maybe? I don't know what my plan is with it. Uh, but it's pretty funny. 
Um, and I call it, I just I hyper trained it and EV trained it just because why not, right? Um, another Mewtwo, this Mewtwo I RNG'd on stream. Um, I actually finished it. Very rarely do I finish Ubers. I do have to hyper train it, but um, it's Tim and Nature, and I gave it an actual mood set, and it's actually EV train, and it's Mentos because it's green, but the stream did nickname that one as well. Uh, so here's my attacking box. This is my next uh, one. This one is Hoin, just because it's uh, male, um, and I figured I'll just keep the theme up. This is a trick. <laughs> this, is, this is the dumbest set of all time. So this is a trick room. Physic mixed, mostly physical, uh, Alolan Exeggutor. It's got Dragon Hammer, Wood Hammer, Flamethrower, Trick Room. Meant for doubles mostly, but you could use it in singles if you wanted to for some reason. And I did use it in my... I think I used it in my Zoroark Battle Spot video, but it might have been in the... Um, it might have been in the Torkoal one. I can't recall. The dumbest... It actually put in work the dumbest Pokemon of all time. Super fun to use, though. And I love this Pokemon to death. Uh, Brave Nature with Harvest, because Harvest is just a better ability. This is Mr. Freeze, Naive Nature. Um, it was hyper-trained. Um, I don't remember where I... I, I don't remember rng the QRM, but I guess I did, because it does. It inherits the QRM stats and shininess. Um, QRM Black is an insane Pokemon in singles, so I obviously wanted one. I bet you this one This one I did hyper-train, because this is such a good Pokemon, and I wanted to use it. Um, this is just the standard Z-Move set. It's, the, it's just going to sub-zero slam on your face. Someone probably named it Mr. Freezen from the stream, because it's definitely a stream RNG, but very, very powerful Pokemon. Fun to utilize. I highly recommend it. It's max attack, max um, speed, um, four special attack is probably the EV spreads. Here's some Kartanas. Um, I think these are both from uh, stream RNGs as well. A lot of memories of this. Um, Yata and Blade were the, the nicknames given to it. It took me forever to find these Kartanas. Cartana, I found like five Guzzlords before I found a Cartana wormhole. It was insane. And Cartana's not even the rarest wormhole. This one's actually fully finished as a Scarf Cartana. This one is not. This one I was using just for Chansey Killing. Um, so that's why this moveset's not finished. I don't even know. Are both of them? They are both hyper trained at the very least. Um, here is two Lycan Rocks. These are the. Uh, the um, these are actually Lycan Rocks I got from the, um, the video, my uh, egg RNG video for. Sun and Moon, um, this is where the shiny one's from. Um, and I also actually think um, Lycanroc Dusk is really, really cool and fun to use, and so that's why this is here. Um, Lycanium Z, uh, just because Splintered Storm Shards is so powerful, and it's it's only real set if you ask me. You want it, you try an SD on, pray you get an SD on something late game and you're able to sweep, basically, is it? Um, and then I just happen to get another one along the way. I haven't nicknamed it yet, but I will probably eventually. So I have two Tapu Bulus, one from my moon, one from my sun. That's where the Jake names are from, I think. Both named Headstrong after a song, I think. It's a Queen song? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Adamant, Jolly, one Scarf, one Band, baby. Um, and the Adamant one uh, has Protect, because I probably used it as a non-band uh, VGC set for a while. But uh, yeah, these are Choice Band, Choice Scarf. Slapping fools with Tapu Bulu. You know me. I, I don't like to battle with too much strategy. I like very head rammy strategies. This is a Mimikyu named Duplica after that girl from... I don't, I don't remember. The anime, maybe? With the ditto? Uh, it's basically just meant to be like a, tr <laughs> a trick room team member. It's awful. Don't ever use this Pokemon. I don't even use it, but it's awful. Uh, egg RNG Shiny. So this... Ooh. Oh, who's the... I don't... I, I don't remember which one. I think it's... Croc. This is the egg... This is the video. I have like a 50-minute guide on how... From start to finish... How to breed and EV train a Pokemon, etc. It's named Croc because of Emperor's New Groove. I don't know. I just kind of... Just kind of gave me Kronk vibes. I don't know what's up with this. This is a sub bulk up set, a very fun set to use. This is a, this is one of my favorite Pokemon to use in like singles or whatever. I don't know why, but I do just really like using it. Um, I think Braviary is very cool and defines a cool ability. This is the BGC version of the set. The Superpower Brave Bird rocks like Tailwind. Uh, it's meant to. I even actually have it to Tailwind to be able to take Intimidates. Um, and it, it's even supposed to hold an Adrenaline Orb, so Intimidate still gives it plus two. And then behind a Tailwind, it's actually doing a lot of damage. It's very fast. Very strong Pokemon. I can't remember which one is from the video. It could have been Kronk, or it could be the Spraviary, but one of them is from that video. 
This is a big sad talent flame. I don't know why I bred this. This Pokemon is so horrible now. In VGC, it still has mini niches with Tailwind is actually a uh, priority Tailwind is still pretty good. And um, you potentially have a priority Supersonic Sky Strike. And that's it. Very sad. Na Sunny, named after my parakeet. Miss you, Sunny. Okay, so this Pokemon um, is my pride and joy. Um, so it is a Feraligator with a Lore Ball. First of all, I'll say a few things. Lore Ball. Perfectly matches for alligator's color scheme. Beautiful. Second of all, Lore Ball. I always wanted to throw down a Lore Ball like the anime, and now you can do it. So, Ash had a uh, Totodile in a Lore Ball in the anime, and now I have a Lore Ball Totodile in the game. Sheer Force. Uh, Feraligator is my favorite Pokemon, also, for those of you who don't know. Sheer Force, obviously the good ability. Uh, Dragon Dance, Ice Punch, Liquidation Crunch. Probably its best coverage moves right now. Um, and the reason you're running deep, you don't re I don't really think SD for Alligator is that good with Sheer Force. I think it's probably preferable to run SD Gator if you're running Torrent, just because, like, a sub-Torrent set or something to get, like, low HP. But, uh, Sheer Force is so much better. Dragon Dance is just, you're able to muscle your way through a lot of Pokemon. Very fun to use. Araquanid, another contender for my favorite Pokemon to utilize in, um... What is this? Unholy set. I don't... I don't Okay, wait, hold on. So first of all, uh, Araquan is a favorite of mine from this gen. It's in contender with Alolan Eggy as one of my favorites. I love Water Bubble. Very cool ability. Um, this one is a VGC set, like a, kind of the standard VGC set. Um, I don't know what this unholy set is. I don't know what my plan with this set was. What are your EVs? Very good speed. So this was bred probably before... Max HP. What is this unholy set? So first of all, I don't know if it's supposed to have liquidation or not. This is a weird set. Um, I named it Moist because uh, a lot of people get triggered by that word. So that's pretty much the reason for the nickname. <laughs> Fun Pokemon to use. I don't ever remember using this set, and I don't know what this set is. This set is the much more standard set. You basically only click liquidation. <laughs> that's it. Lung you do click lunge in VGC, actually, to lower opponent Pokemon's attack. I think that's what that move does. Um, just, just a Garchomp. I love Garchomp. Garchomp was legal for VGC. Guess what I'm doing? I'm breeding Garchomps. Uh, this one is named Chomper after one of my friend's dogs. Um, my friend Alana. Um, this was a Sandvale one because actually... Um, uh, Sandvale is actually kind of good in VGC. Um, oh my, oh man. Wait, you, this is a funny Normalium Z Garchomp meant to just like... Um, sla who is this meant for actually? Maybe for fairies? I don't know. Shit's really funny. It's in a, um... Beast Ball because I got I got one in a Wonder Trade, just a Gibble and a Beast Ball in a Wonder Trade, and I was like, oh hell yeah, I'll use this one. Because also I didn't want to do the SOS change to get it. It's a pain in the ass. So luckily it just came to me. So I bred two of them. Um, this one is just an S sub SD one, maybe more for this one actually is probably more for singles if it's sub SD because Sandvale is legal in singles. Um, this one is definitely a VGC one with rock size. They both, yeah, this one has rock size as well. So this one's definitely VGC. Maybe scarf, maybe band. I don't know what, what my plan is with... Definitely, no, no. It's Normalium Z for sure, actually. Really funny set. Uh, the name... Oh, yeah, I explained this. This name, I don't know. Tooths, just because shark tooth. It's got teeth all over its body. That's it. This is meant to be like a bright powder sub SD cheese. Cheese Maximus set. Very bad set. Don't use it. Very funny set, though. So maybe use it. This is the double. Um, Shoutouts to... Oh. Ryan Lockwood. <laughs> uh, two quick ones. The double. You already know. Um, this is a Gen 6 Pokemon, but you can only really use it in Gen 7 doubles. So, that's why it's here. Um, just your mega standard battle spot. Fake out, power up punch. Double edge sucker punch. Mega Kang. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Fun mon to abuse, but kind of broken. So Valley. Um, this is the gift one. I RNG did. I don't know. I did hyper train one stat on it. I've probably EV trained it, but I don't even have any moves for it planned. Um, Parting shots just the only attack that's very good, and I didn't nickname it. It's a gift Pokemon. What do you want from me? Mustache. I think this nickname's hilarious. This is just a sand rush sweeper. Uh, I don't know what my plan is or why I bred this, but oh, uh, but it's here. The main thing to think about is the nickname. 
Sandrush, probably a decent sweeper. It seems to be a Normat. Maybe this was for VGC, and Thunderfang is like to deal with Tapu Koko or pair with Tapu Koko. Um, but uh, Return is just your standard thing, and then Giga Impact is for A, nuking, and B, probably Normalium Z. Here I have a whole bunch of Alolan Marowax. The nickname, I think it's a hit hysterical nickname. Uh, I nicknamed them all that. Um, so we have two Adamant ones. Um, with, I think they all have lightning rock. I can't believe I don't have any rock head ones, but anyway. So this careful one was like for basically specifically to deal with Faramosa as like a bulky pivot to handle Faramosa. That's actually why this Pokemon existed back when Faro was legal in OU. Um, this one is just a standard, more utility based one with an adamant nature, just like all out attacking type set. Um, this one is an SD sweeping, like an SD bulky set, and then this one is the same SD set, but for Trick Room. That's it. I don't, I don't know. I th actually think I remember giving this one normal gem, like, to boost explosions power. Um, this is probably who Stalin was meant to be paired with, and maybe these Garchomps as well. Explosion, Rock Slide, uh, Protect the Rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, it's a big old rock boy. Mudslide. This is another Mudslide from uh, one of my Gen 6 games. I talked about them a lot. This is Mustard Genie. I caught this one on stream. This is just your standard Lando. I actually doesn't even have a good power, I don't think. But uh, U-Turn EQ, Stone Edge Knockoff. I just did the best to salvage what I could with the nature, right? Like, eh. It does reduce my bulk a little bit, because ideally this would be jolly, but yeah. Mustard Genie, I think because of the color. I have two Metagross here. These were both actually... This one's definitely a VGC Metagross, meant to be paired with Tapu um, Lele in Psychic Terrain. Like, maybe Scarf, CB, uh, just or even Shookaberry. Very powerful Pokemon to um, just mash Zen Headbutt. I remember seeing Aaron Cybertron Zang use this, so um, I think that's where I got my inspiration to use it from. This one is a similar thing, but it does have BP. I'm thinking this one is Choice Band, and this one is... Uh, like Shuka or something, or Akka even. And they're both not nicknamed, but they're both definitely for VGC. Stack Attacka. You got the Lonely Trick Room Sweeper. Trick Room's my favorite archetype. I haven't nicknamed it yet. I will nickname it. I love this Pokemon. Beautiful. Um, it's supposed to have Earthquake instead of Bulldoze. I don't know what's up with that one, but Jarball, Stone Edge, EQ, Trick Room. You slamming everyone. You're getting the attack raises. And this one is set up so it can have attack raises in either double for VGC for 50 form. Or this one is set up so it will have the attack raise because its defense IV is so low if you look at it. I believe its defense IV is 50, 15, uh, the lower ones, so it'll work in 50 level battles. And then here's some uh, Zygarde's. So, okay, so, oh my god. All three of these Zygarde's were RNG'd in my Sun version. Oh my god, this mod was such a pain. Did I really do that? Wow. So, actually, funny story. So, you may be asking, well, how did you RNG these Pokemon in the same game? Because you don't have enough cells. So, I actually just caught the Zygarde's in my X and Y version and traded them up and just, you can just disassemble them if there's no ribbon. So I just sacrificed them to create more Zygarde's. It's actually a little bit sick. Um, <laughs> so um, I actually don't know Anaconda because it's a type of snake. This is just your standard um, DD set. This one is a, this might be CB Zygarde and it's named Slytherin because I really like Harry Potter. So this is just seems to be a CB Zygarde. Um, and Toxic because Zygarde actually kind of needs a filler move. You could even put Iron Tail if I wanted to there, though. And I actually, the reason Iron Tail is not there is because I, this was RNG before Sun and uh, Ultra Sun and Moon came out, and there were no move tutors for it. So it, can't, it, could, it couldn't actually have it at the time. That's right. And then this is just the uh, dog version. 22 Dog Street. I think that name's hilarious. Me and my friend Blake have a meme where we put dog and duck in front of normal movie and song names. So 22 Dog Street. I think the name's super funny. This is just meant to be CB. Also RNG in the same game. This is Z. I think I RNG this one on stream. Um, I don't, so I don't know who named it Z. Um, it is hyper trained, but only two actually, so that's cool. Um, and this is just meant to be like a, probably a CB one because I, I don't. I'm not too creative with Buzz Swat. I don't think it's very good. And this is a Gyarados. I have I have no recollection of breeding this Gyarados. Wow, it actually has no good attack special attack 
That's really funny. I don't remember reading this. Maybe I Agar and cheat it, but it's just meant to be DD Mega Gera. I think it's supposed to be paired with the Alolan Ninetales, because I think I had a showdown team that I had a DD Mega Gera as the sweeper. Um, yeah. This is the defensive Pokemon. Very characteristic of Gen 7, the most bred defensive Pokemon I have is Toxapec. I have a bunch of them. Um, some have Toxic Spikes, some have Toxic. Let's see the names. Three of them don't have names. Bold Comp, so Fizz's Death versus Spideff. Um, all Regenerator, of course. All Haze, of course. This one is named Marvin. I don't know. Um, it just kind of looks like a Marvin. Some of these? Yeah, yeah. So, and I think some are Leftovers. So this one's Toxic uh, Fizz Def. This one's Toxic Spideff. OL, I don't understand the name. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what's going on in my own brain. But Scald Recover Toxic. Haze, your boy, standard, the standard pecs. A buble, um, this is a Porygon, I RNG'd, um, for Trick Room, probably dubs even, um, uh, because this is like one of the better, um, Trick Room setters in VGC. These are also, this is Gen 6. Oh, is this a clone of that other one? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what this. I don't know what the deal with this is. I think I cloned this. Not sure. This is just a Cresselia. I RNG'd. Um, I RNG'd it specifically so I could have. Um, I actually, it's non-shiny. I RNG'd it for stats because my stream wanted me to RNG it shiny, but I was like, no, 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 I need this <laughs> for Trick Room. So, um, and actually, it's not even a Trick Room set. It's probably a, a, a supposed to be for a BGC or something. I don't know why it's calm and not the slow nature, relax, but. Sometimes I do stupid things. I basically only use uh, Cresselia for Trick Room or for VGC stuff. Mouth Chen, I don't understand the nickname. It This is definitely the, um... I think it's just, it's just got a weird mouth, and it just kind of appealed to me when nicknaming. This is your standard Amoongus for doubles. Um, it's in the 7 section, just because I used, um... I use it for VGC more than I used it for Gen... Because I, I traded them up. And you could still use this in Battle Spot Doubles if I needed to. Rage Powder, Giga Drain, Protect, Spore, Regenerator, Relaxed. The Standard. And there's even a Poison move they've been running nowadays, but I, I forget what it is. So these are the Zapdoses. Um, one is from... One is a Pressure... Wow, it's not even done. I caught it in a Fastball? I'm nuts. Did I catch this on stream? No, it's not Shiny, so I probably didn't stream it. Um, this is just a calm, uh, Pressure Zapdos, Spadef Zapdos, horrible set, it seems. Um, but there's that. <clears throat> this is, a uh, one that I traded up from Red, Blue, Yellow. I actually didn't 8F it for some reason, but I did make sure I had the proper nature. Um, and then I probably hyper-trained it. Yeah, of course. Um, Heat Wave Discharge Roost. Uh, this is just, like, basically two attack defog for bulky Zapdos. I'd probably get rid of Heat Wave, put something else, Volt Switch there, maybe? I don't know. But static and discharge for maximum para spam. Zappy's just boring ass nickname. Do I have a Gen 7 VGC box? I don't think I do. And that's that. I think I've gone over this one already with the rest of my Charizards in it. Um, the only other boxes I have are some hyper training stuff. Um, but I have no real reason to go over these guys. A lot of these aren't going to get finished anytime soon. Oh, hey, uh, I think I did a video on me RNGing this. I love this Pokemon, uh, but I'll never be able to use it. <laughs> um, but uh, it's one of my favorites to use. Uh, Shiny Zygarde, very cool. I would... I, uh, you can't use it, and I don't play Uber, so it sucks that I RNG'd it after it got banned, but sometimes that's how it beat. One of my more proud RNGs, so I'm happy I have it at least. Adamant, because that's the most versatile Zygarde nature. This is a similar thing, just an Adamant Zygarde. I think I RNG'd this one in this game. Um, I don't think I have much else to say. Some of these were... This one I caught on stream. That's why the Yoshi nickname. Um, traded up. And I think I did the rest of these in my like other videos. These were RNG'd to be like the competitive Wigglytuff. Like the assault vest that set, that guy used. Um, but I never ended up... Uh, <laughs> I never ended up breeding or EV training any of them because I'm lazy. And um, this one is for 
uh, redirecting, but again, I never ended up using it. And I think that's it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you... Prob um, I have another similar type of video uh, for this type of situation where I go on a nostalgia trip for a certain Pokemon coming out soon-ish, but it's a much more involved process and it's not just storytelling. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate um, you let me know. Uh, tell me some of your favorite Pokemon that you've bred throughout Gen 7 uh, in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. I just want to thank my channel members so much. You guys are amazing. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to put out the videos I do, and I wouldn't be able to stream as frequently. Um, thanks so much. If you want to consider becoming a member, just click the join button underneath this video or uh, at my channel page. Um, it's only $4.99 a month. It really helps me out. Um, I'm extremely uncomfortable doing these kinds of plugs, but I'm doing it anyway because the money helps. And uh, if you can't or don't want to, don't feel bad. I'm just asking because... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. You're all amazing. Uh, see you next video.